The title of this book is Ella McKean, Kickball Queen. It was written and illustrated by Beth Mills. Carol Rhoda Books in Minneapolis is the publisher and 2019 is the copyright date. When Ella McKean steps up to the plate, everyone knows what to do. Move back! Move back! Ella smiles at Kyle Sultana, the pitcher. Ella smiles at her classmates on the field. Her kicks have never been caught. Not the zinger! Not the bounce, 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 bouncer. And certainly not the bomb. Oh no, mutters Kyle as he winds up for his pitch. Here it comes. Kapow! The ball arcs through the air higher and higher until it is lost in the sun. Oh, the outfielders groan. It's a home run for sure. But then, bum, bum, bum. I got it. I got it. I got it. Rhea Patel, the new girl, is racing toward the falling ball. Oh, no, thinks Ella. But nobody can catch. Thwap! Wow! What a great catch! yells Kyle. Everyone starts cheering, even Ella's own team. Ella's stomach drops to her feet. Her hands clench into fists. She feels a twisty, turny, terrible burning in her chest. Her cheeks get hot. Her eyes fill with tears and... No! That's not fair! That's my best kick! Nobody can catch the bomb! I don't want to be out! I want a do-over! I was going to get a home run! That's not fair! You cheated! You're not supposed to do that! I don't like this! I don't want to play with you guys anymore! I'm the best, not you! I don't want to lose! Ah! She threw a fit. Ella suddenly stops. It is very quiet. There is no more cheering. There is no more talking. There is no more noise anywhere. And everyone is uh, looking at her. Ella feels like crawling under home plate and staying there forever. Hmm, would you say she showed a little bad sportsmanship there? Woo! <clears throat> uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> but nobody hears her over the end of recess bell. For the rest of the day, Ella can't stop thinking about what happened and Rhea, and how everyone stared, and how she wanted to hide. Ella thinks about going to school in the morning, and she feels even worse. I think she's a little embarrassed about the scene she caused. She threw a fit, didn't she? Whew. The next morning, Ella is pretty sure everyone is avoiding her and she tries not to even look at Rhea but on the way to recess Ella's stomach starts to drop 
she will have to see Rhea on the field. The captains start to pick teams. Ellen knows she has to say something. <gasps> she takes a deep breath and jogs over to Rhea. Look, um, I'm sorry for yesterday. That catch was really good, but I, I, I'm the kickball queen here. Nobody's ever caught any of my kicks before. Well, okay, says Rhea, <laughs> but you should know I was the kickball queen at my old school. Definitely the best, and girl, I can catch anything, so you'd better watch out. Really, replies Ella. <laughs> we'll see about that. Rhea smiles and says, hey, challenge accepted. At the top of the second inning, Rhea catches the bouncer after only two bounces and tags Ella out as she rounds second. Gotcha! Ella's stomach drops to her feet. Her hands clench into fists and she feels that twisty, turny, terrible burning in her chest. Her cheeks get hot and her eyes fill with tears and Ella takes a deep breath and she walks right up to Rhea and she says, good catch, high five. As Ella runs back to the bench, she thinks, hmm, I wonder if Rhea could catch the zinger. The end. Well, it looks like Rhea and Ella may end up being great friends. After all, they've got kickball in common, don't they? All right. I hope you enjoyed that one.